Hey, welcome. It's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions, and today we're back with the mighty, powerful Ginger. They have a new song out. It's called Green Serpent. They have a record coming out in February, so lots of new things happening for them. Uh, Ginger is one of my favorite bands that I do for the channel, and uh, I appreciate you joining me. If you like this kind of thing, please like, subscribe, and comment. Here we go. Green Serpent. Ginger. Okay, I love this kind of mixing of like what to me is just kind of this cool, uh, almost like fusion-esque uh, intro, you know, uh, kind of a, j not jazz, but kind of like modern rock, prog rock, uh, kind of clean guitar, cool bass lines, incredible bass lines, and this image of her laying on basically a big bed of grapes, and then the third or second word is grapes. And I just like that kind of use of imagery. They do really amazing videos. Um, always great to kind of look at the official stuff. I love to do live stuff, but these are kind of fun as well, as you probably already know. Um, and we're right at a heavy part, which is kind of my favorite. This is so Again, that incredibly great, articulated, heavy guitar, distorted and heavy, but still a lot of, you know, uh, clarity to it. And that is what I love about this band. Very precise. And then you hear Vlad's drumming in the background, which, interesting, they're not like a really big live drum sound. And I've mentioned this before. He's probably one of my favorite metal drummers as far as this really unique approach to metal and just drums in general. I'm not a drummer, but I appreciate drums. As if you watched other videos, you know, I'll talk about Vlad more than anyone in this band. And then, but they're super dry and kind of even um, not super bright. They're not dull sounding, but it's just an interesting approach to um, kind of sonically the drums that is different than how I would do it, I think, if I were mixing it. And I would want the drums, especially from Vlad, way up and kind of big and boomy. Which, of course, if you know anything about mixing, takes a lot of frequency response from the bass and the guitar and the singing. So ultimately, that's why I don't know how to mix stuff. So if I did it, it would all sound like, you know, really great drums and the rest would suffer. Uh, but we have an incredibly great band here that obviously either does it themselves as far as mixing or finds the right people. <laughs>
have it ginger doing the song green serpent uh i think uh the elements are all there for me at least as far as a great ginger song incredible vocals both clean and distorted and then we have great guitar work incredible bass playing incredible drumming and i swear i heard kind of uh uh roman doing kind of like a arpeggiated thing that borderlined almost on like a little bit of a guitar solo uh, but it was just an arpeggio, but it still was kind of cool to hear a little more, um, something that's getting closer. And I, as you know, if you've watched this before and watch me talk about Ginger, the one thing I would love, uh, not necessarily guitar solos, but just some kind of ornamentation occasionally that would kind of, uh, you know, just kind of put a little bit of fairy dust on top a little bit as far as guitar playing goes. And I'm sure he could do that, but in a two guitar band, obviously you can have a lot of variations and um, it probably would take away from the coolness of it in the way that there's this really uh, ventilated kind of approach, meaning like it's a heavy band, but there's lots of room for uh, Tatiana to kind of be big vocally or really sensitive vocally. So um, a two guitar player thing. And I know, I believe in their early uh, versions of the band, super early. I think there was two guitar players, but uh, I would just love, even if it was just on the records and it wasn't live, I'd love to hear Roman just kind of add a few little things in here and there. Now, does that exist on newer recordings? I don't know. I haven't heard them enough to really say. I just do all these videos and I'm like, they are the perfect band, but yet, a little bit of a guitar solo in here here and there would be great. I am Brian. This is Guitar Solo Reactions, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>